This is AutoLine Daily, the show dedicated to enthusiasts of the global automotive industry. Automakers in the U.S. are facing much stricter fuel economy standards from the Environmental Protection Agency. Under President Obama, automakers had to improve fuel efficiency by 5% a year from 2022 to 2026. Under President Trump, that was cut down to 1.5%. And now, under President Biden, the EPA is returning to the 5% improvement rate. The Trump administration regs meant automakers needed to achieve a fleet average of 43.3 miles per gallon by 2026. With the new regs, that bumps up to 52 miles per gallon. Of course, automakers can use a number of offsets to hit that number, like selling more electric vehicles. The EPA estimates that BEVs will account for 8% of all new car sales by 2026, or about a million vehicles. It wants even more drastic regulations to fight climate change starting in 2027, and is now asking for comments from all interested parties. Regulators and environmentalists point out that the transportation sector accounts for most greenhouse gas emissions. And that's true. It used to be the electric utilities, but they've switched so much from coal to natural gas that their emissions are now less than the transportation sector. But don't forget that the transportation sector includes ships, planes, locomotives, mining trucks, agricultural equipment, and a host of other sources. And they're not affected by these regulations. And here's our AutoLine Insight. Light-duty vehicles only account for about 16% of emissions. And while we're in favor of the auto industry doing its part, it seems to us that the other 84% of the economy is not doing its fair share. Speed to market is extremely important in today's auto industry, and that's why Renault is adopting a cloud-based software platform called 3D Experience from Dassault Systems. It's all about developing new products faster, including mobility services. The virtual reality system will be available to 20,000 employees globally to share in real time all product data and digital twins of its product configurations. And it's able to simulate their entire life cycle, including manufacturing. Not only will it cut costs, Renault says it will cut product development time by around one year. Okay, here's something we didn't see coming. French automaker Renault is partnering with Chinese automaker Geely to build hybrids in South Korea to export to the United States. Got all that? Well, 20 years ago, Renault bought the car making operations of Samsung in South Korea. So as part of this new deal, Renault will build the Lincoln Co. 01 model in Busan, South Korea. Lincoln Co. is Geely's premium brand and Geely wants to export the vehicle to the United States since South Korea and the U.S. have a free trade agreement. And that means Geely can avoid any import tariffs. In addition, Geely will help Renault create a new plug-in hybrid brand in China, which will develop cars on Geely's compact modular architecture, the same one that Volvo also uses. We want to know what drives your testing. OTA, connected car, diagnostics, remote testing, Intrepid Control Systems is here to help you work from anywhere. Intrepid Control Systems, driven by your data. Ford snagged a lot of headlines when customers used the onboard generator from F-150 hybrids to power their homes during a massive power outage in Texas. And now it's offering another benefit of the generator, which is also available on the F-150 Lightning, vehicle-to-vehicle charging. All that's needed is a special adapter that goes between the 240-volt plug on the truck and the power cord. Then just plug into any EV that needs charging. Ford says it can add 10 to 20 miles of range an hour to its newest BEVs, and it will also work with any vehicle that uses an SAE J1772 plug design but the truck will have to have the optional 9.6 or 7.2 kilowatt power system to perform vehicle-to-vehicle charging. The Jeep Grand Cherokee L is getting a few updates for the 2022 model year. A new 10 and a quarter inch front passenger display screen and two 10.1 inch rear seat displays with built-in Amazon Fire TV are now available for certain trim levels. It's also offered with two new appearance packages and three new colors. 
The 2022 Jeep Grand Cherokee L is available to order now. Okay, Pony Car fans, get ready for the next generation of the Ford Mustang. But you'll have to wait until March of 2023. That's when it will go into production at Flat Rock in Michigan, according to Auto Forecast Solutions. Some may speculate that it will be electric, but we don't think so. Ford recently announced it's boosting production of the Mach-E to 200,000 units a year, and that should take care of electric Mustangs for now. But we wouldn't be surprised if Ford comes out with a hybrid version of the Mustang with blistering performance and much better fuel economy. Mobility is becoming electric, connected, and autonomous, just like the manufacturing world. But we'll always be one thing, a reliable partner for our customers. Honda is trying to take some of the stress out of hospital stays for children. It developed the Shogo, a small electric vehicle that kids ages 4 to 9 can drive around the hallways of a hospital. It can go between 1 to 5 miles per hour and includes an IV pole holder, push bar, toy bucket, cup holder, and even a horn. Children's Health of Orange County is the first to use Shogo, but it sounds like it will make its way to other hospitals as well. Say, how would you like to tear up the slopes in one of these? It's like one of those mini bikes that have a simple steel frame, small motor, and knobby tires, but it's for the snow. Called the Moon Bike, it features a snow track in the back and a ski up front, and it's electric. There's space under the seat for two removable 2.5 kilowatt hour battery packs. They provide enough juice to ride for one to three hours if you opt for the two battery setup and a three kilowatt electric motor can power the Moon Bike up to 42 kilometers an hour or 26 miles per hour. Moon Bike is a French company, but it's now expanding to the U.S. as well, and will have examples to show off at CES. Pricing starts at $8,500. Mitsubishi is getting ready for the Tokyo Auto Show, which starts on January 14th. It teased two concepts it will have there, one for an electric K car, and the other a new performance-oriented vehicle that will show its vision for the Rally Art brand. And speaking of the Tokyo show, Nissan tricked out a couple of caravans to display. The caravan mountain base concept looks ready to go off-road and features a giant roof-mounted solar panel, solar panels where the side windows used to be, wood-like paneling that's picked up on the interior as well, and even a fake fireplace. The caravan my room concept, on the other hand, looks like a nice place to relax and get some rest. It's highlighted by a built-in couch, bookshelves, and cupboards. And a programming note here. The Autoline crew is going to take a well-deserved break over the holidays. Tomorrow will be the last new show of the year, and there will not be an Autoline After Hours this Thursday. But Autoline Daily will be back on January 3rd, bringing you the most important news in the global automotive industry. But that's a wrap for today. See ya! Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone, solutions for your journey. Intrepid Control Systems, over-the-air engineering, boost your game. And by Scheffler, we pioneer motion.